Uh, it's always the, uh, an unbelievable fight, you know, and, and to have a classic fight like that and still win basically every round on every card, I mean, uh, pretty pretty special accomplishment. So talk to me how you're feeling after a fight like that. Yeah, man, uh, you know, I wanted to get the finish, and I've been talking about getting that finish, but at least it was a war. At least it was uh, entertainment. Uh, everyone enjoyed it. Uh, you know, obviously, while you're going through it, you're just worrying about what's happening. Uh, so straight after, I was like, fuck, didn't get the finish, you know what I mean? But then you come out, and everyone's just absolutely buzzing. So uh, as long as we put on a performance, hey, you know, I'm starting to really come into this whole entertainment business. You know, I get it. So you're going to see me being the heel from now on. I'm just going to fucking have a go at everyone. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? It's just, hey, it was a good fight, uh, fun fight. Uh, everyone enjoyed it, so I'm happy. Yeah. Started out with a real... 50 Gs too, so you can't argue with that. Not bad there. Uh, started out with a real boxing heavy attack. I mean, is that really... Was that the game plan going in? Is to stick with, with largely the boxing as much as possible? Yeah, yeah. You obviously mix it all up, you know. Uh, really just trying to uh, put a puzzle in front of him. Uh, you know, get find out the range early, uh, which we did. Uh, probably could have, you know, mixed the kicks in a little bit more and things like that. But, you know, it was just, hey, you know, it was a, it was a good fight. He had me in, uh, you know, some deep positions as well. It was a lot happening in there and I've got to watch it back. But everyone's uh, blowing out about it. So, hey, I, I, don't, I don't know yet. So I'll, I'll watch it back and uh, see how good this fight was. But, you know, I'm just happy that yeah, I got the 50 Gs, got the win, got the belt, bringing it back to Australia on the piss. We're laughing. I think you'll be pleased when you watch it back. Uh, I did want to ask him, obviously the damage on, on his face was clear that you did to him, but you suffered a little under your eyes as well. Was that bothering you at all? Uh, yeah, and I just had a couple of uh, cuts. Uh, one might have been a headbutt. I think there was an elbow on the top of the head. Uh, and there must have been a punch with the other one. But, uh, mate, look, man, he's tough. You know what I mean? I was uh, giving it to him, trying to get in his head. You know, I said some things. You know, I don't usually say that type of stuff. But obviously he's no, like everyone knows, I, 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 you know, with things that brought up, I wasn't going to do it, heat of the moment, weight cutting and me being the heel now, uh, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> no, just, man, it was uh, nothing but respect now. He got my respect. Uh, I thought I was going to break him. I thought he was broken after the third round. Uh, the ref decided to give him a minute to, you know, ask him questions. He wasn't answering them right. I'm telling you, I was looking and he was, you know, look this way and he's looking completely other, other way and do this do that do that answered every question wrong um and then they waited till he answered it right and then let's get into it so i was like what's going on here you know what i mean like that gave him an extra minute because uh, i thought he's broke i was like oh, well man like he literally couldn't even see where he's going that's it that's it it's over i go in there start putting pressure and he's firing back just like he was it, like nothing happened so mate he's tough you know he's durable and uh credit to him you know, you got yourself in a little bit of trouble at one point, right? The guillotine choke. I mean, can you talk about just how tight? Because it looked incredibly tight. Uh, can it was you talk deep. About, yeah, it was deep. It was. was your head? It was. Oh, fuck! I'm about to lose the belt. Deep. You know what I mean? Like it was. Uh, but again, like the type of human being I am, you know, we talk about me. Uh, you know, being going for adversity and you know always being prepared and busting my ass and never give up attitude and all that shit. That's just exactly what you've seen. I was deep. That was as deep as it can get. No, no shit. As deep as it can get. I remember I was making fucking weird noises. I remember I was sitting, I was like, on. I don't know what noise I made, but I remember he even said I was gurgling, but that was a, like a weird, oh, fuck, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm about to lose this belt. Like, you're kidding. And then I, like, obviously kept fighting and just opened a little bit of space. I'm like, all right, I'm good. And then got my chin out, and then it was all good. And then I knew I'd be up from there. And then he chucked me in the fucking triangle as well so mate he just shows you know t city uh he's known for his jujitsu i you know i thought that he wouldn't get me that deep but he did credit to him uh he made me really dig deep to get out of there but again i've showed time and time again that you know, i always dig deep and you know that's just what champions are made of i have to ask because surprisingly i think you continued to grapple after that at times but did your corner have a conversation with you like man what are you doing here no because you know that was uh how did that happen i'm trying to think how that exactly happened oh yeah because yeah uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I went to kick, he grabbed the kick and then punched at the same time. So when I fell down, as I was getting up, he jumped on it uh, and got into that position. But he done a good job of really wrapping up the legs. You know what I mean? I didn't expect him to wrap up the legs so quickly. So then he had it, he had, had control of me while he had it deep, um, where I didn't expect to be there. So when I'm up, you know, posturing up and all that type of stuff, you know, he's throwing them up, but it gives me space. So I wasn't too threatened there. Uh, the boys were telling me to, like, more posture up, stand up. I thought they meant get the fuck out of there, which I don't blame them for saying that if they did. But they wanted me to posture up and just keep raining bombs. But, mate, I almost had him in the last, like, I was hitting him with big shots. It looked like he was done. But he come back stronger. So, again, I'm just going to give him credit.
Alex. Last thing for me. I mean, uh, I know you said you're comfortable being the heel now. You're comfortable being the underdog. But I think you will walk away from. I'll always be respectful, but you know, there's going to be some things that might need to be said sometimes. So I'll say it. Well, I think you're going to have a new, a newfound respect after this fight. Uh, it certainly seemed that way. And so, give us an idea. What's, what's the plan for now? Because obviously, this whole travel to Australia, the way things are. I mean. Uh, what, what do you see as the next couple moves for you? Because you've, you've, you've beaten the, the big names in the division, obviously. Well, we've got, the, you know, Yair and uh, Max fighting. Uh, you know, so I'm guessing that's for number one contender. You know, whoever get, wins that gets that shot right. Uh, and that's not till November. And I want to fight. I want to fight, man. Like, so do I move up lightweight, do something, you know what I mean? Maybe move up lightweight, fight the champion, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Give me something. Because, uh, you know, again, I had, what, 14 months off. Because of this whole, you know, what I mean, I'm thinking of even, you know, maybe staying, bring the family over, and stay here for a year, ride out this fucking lockdown thing because it's a mess, you know. And that's why I said this, this fight was for everyone back home that are struggling. They're going through tough times in New Zealand and Australia. So uh, yeah, again, so that's why we got, we got to, you know, talk to the family, talk to the team, and see what's our best move. Maybe we ride it out here, um, knock out, you know, just smash some fights out. Everyone just build everything up and. Kick some ass. Alex, uh, to your left here. <clears throat> to your left over here. Oh, yep. First thing I wanted to ask you about is, you know, 20 wins in a row, and, and not a lot of people were talking about that in light of everything that went on. What was the hardest thing about that, and what does it mean to you to get to that specific number? Uh, it sounds cool. You know, numbers there, you, you, you hear the numbers like that, that's pretty cool. I don't pay too much attention to it. I just worry about the, the challenges that are in front of me. You know, taking out guys like, you know, Chad Mendes, Aldo. Max Holloway, Ortega, you know, doing that, you know, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's more incredible to me. You, having a 25 win streak is, is impressive. Uh, so, yeah, but I mean, yeah, not many people can do that, but I'm expecting to just that, keep that streak rolling. So, yeah, 20 is good, but let's get, let's, let's, get to, let's get to 30 or something. So we'll, we'll, we'll start talking about that when I hit a few more numbers. Put Habib in the rear view mirror, huh? Yeah, that's it. When you, you know, you beat Aldo and Holloway twice, and, and yet, you know, not that you weren't getting respect, but, I mean, there were other guys that were, you know, people were talking about, oh, Holloway might have won the second fight or, or whatever. So do you feel like, you know, you changed that narrative tonight by doing, not only winning the fight, but getting out of the two submissions and showing how tough you were uh, in that fight? Do you think you changed the narrative about you now uh, to a more positive one? Oh, man, mate, it was entertaining. So even if they are going to keep carrying on about it, whatever. I've told, like I said it, there's going to be doubters no matter what you do. You know what I mean? People are going to sit there and be like, oh, he got, you know, almost got submitted. He's going to get submitted again. I don't think anyone's going to put me in a deeper fucking submission than that. <laughs> so uh, I ain't worried about that. No one's going to get me in uh, any positions. And if they do, I don't think uh, you know, anyone's going to put me in more trouble than that. So you know, again, there's going to be doubters every time. Let them, let them hate. Let them carry on. I love it. I still love you. You just give me that drive. So, man, all good. I, told, uh, I say it time and time again, that underdog mentality. You know what I mean? I'm, you, know, what I'm, you know, what I know now is not enough. You know, I mean, it's never enough. What I'm doing is not enough. We're going to do more. You know what I mean? You're not good enough. You know, you know obviously, I know, I know I'm, I'm better than these fighters. But, hey, I'm just going to keep telling myself, you need to do more. You need to do more. So let the doubters say, you know, I love proving wrong. You know what? I love making people that bet on me money. So, because uh, all, my, all my supporters, I know they're betting on me and they're winning some money. So, we all good. And, and the final thing for me, uh, is there another level that you can get to? I mean, what you're doing is amazing, obviously, but you, you're talking about working and, and trying to improve. I mean, can you still get to another level in this sport? Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, the, my composure in that, in there, was, uh, was good. I've always been composed. Uh, you know, I put the pace on. I was very, very comfortable in there. I was very comfortable even with, uh, you know, getting in his face, you know, doing the, the, the whole hype up thing and all that type of stuff. It gave me a whole new energy. Absolutely loved it. People, you know, the crowd booing me, all that shit, fucking loved it. Absolutely loved it, just used it as fuel. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, this, this is gonna change me for, from here on out. You know what I mean? You're gonna see a whole different, Bald Volk is coming for fucking everyone. <laughs> Alex, right here on the front. <laughs> right here. Where are we? Uh, I'm curious, if, did you happen to see Conor McGregor's tweets about your fight? Well, I heard about it. Uh, it sounds want... like he's on the piss. Yeah, so do you want, <laughs> me, do you want me to read so it? So am I. I will be too. Do you want me to read it to you? No, uh, yeah, it's something about sharding or fighting or we something. Also said congrats. It doesn't really make sense, but hey. You also said congrats at the end of the fight, so we seem to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Conor, man. Like, you know, we're kind of doing Conor things. Good on him. But, uh, yeah, 
I don't know if it's like, uh, you know, if he wants to come back down to 145. Well, obviously, that will never happen. But We think it's uh, right around the broadcast. They said you had beaten the two best featherweights of all time. And uh, okay. Honor and, I mean, uh, Jose and Max. Yeah, that would have stung him a little bit. That. Yeah. that would have stung him a little bit, especially while he's on the piss, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you yeah, know, anyway, I'm going to be on the piss. Maybe you'll see some weird fucking tweets from me, too. We'll see what happens. And uh, what do you make of that fight between Max and Yair? A lot of people just thought Max was going to be next in line. He didn't have to take another fight. And now yeah, he's... man, you know what? That just shows you, again, like, uh, I'm going to give credit to, you know, Ortega. There was bad blood. I was fucking saying all this shit. And look, look what he went and done. You know, he showed pure heart, put me in fucking dangerous positions. Nothing but respect. Max, he can get the... I guarantee he doesn't have to take this fight. And they're already asking him to, to give... And he's still going to go take it. He wants that number one spot. He wants to earn it. Shows you what type of guy he is. So how can you not respect that? Good on him. You know, I mean, that's exactly what I'd fucking do. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, so you got to give him respect. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'll give him respect. But you know, he let him go do the thing. How do I think that fight's going to go? Yair Rodriguez is a, he's a great fighter stylistically. I think Max is a nightmare for him. So uh, I'm expecting Max to go out there do his thing, and we're going to be running that trilogy. And Dana's going to pay us good money for it. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward, forward to seeing But, man, look, I just want these challenges, man, these big fights. and That's going to be a huge fucking fight. So um, whoever it is, let's do it. Uh, if it's, you know, they're not fighting until later. And if I have to move up uh, just to just get a fight while we're waiting for that, because, again, I want to fight regularly. I don't want to wait another fucking six, seven months. Uh, so excuse my language. I'm swearing a lot today. Um, but, yeah, so we'll just see what happens. You said you would move up to get another fight? Just yeah, move up. You know, go up the lightweight, have a, have a bit of fun there. Uh, and then just wait for the, the winner, and then, then we run that back, run that whoever that is with. In, in terms of going on the piss, do you always start your day off with one from a flip flop? Because I saw you drinking a bit. From the flip flop, from a, what we, I call them a vlechki. That's a Macedonian way of calling a vlechki, a slide. So I did, yeah, I've never really done one of those before, but I fucking nailed it. I've only got a couple of little drops out, I, I've pretty much got it all in there. Usually people get all over them, I'm a master. See, I'm a master at everything. It's just fantastic. In, terms, in the fight, you, you know, you mentioned about the, the guillotine and how that was, oh, fuck, I'm nearly going to lose the belt deep. Was the, the triangle as deep or was that a little bit loose? No, nah, the, the triangle wasn't too bad. Uh, it was obviously deep, but uh, I felt like, you know, I could, uh, you know, I'm strong enough to sort of put him in positions to not get it as tight and I knew I'd get out of that. But that guillotine was fucking deep. You mentioned before the fight, like he said, oh, I feel like in an, another time we could be good, decent acquaintances and we could have a beer and stuff. Yeah, and you weren't too, too hot on that idea, but after... I said, if I was drunk, I would. And I'm almost there. <laughs> so maybe, you know... Nah, look, man, you know, I did a... You know, again, look, they're building up the fight. Uh, you know, I, I think I never usually try and, you know, do that type of shit. So I was like, I was picking at everything. Obviously, everyone knows I'm against the shit that I bring up. I wasn't going to bring it up. I'll be honest, I'm not the type of, I was like, you know, I didn't want to do it. Weight cutting, pissed off. I bring it up. You know, you know. Again, I'm against that, but you know, it was a long time ago, and uh, you know, hope he's changed. But um, but yeah. So again, he, he, we were we were pretty cool. Obviously, there are things that, that annoy me, but I'm looking for these things to annoy me. Uh, that's where I was at. I was looking for things to hate him. You know what I mean? And uh, to be honest, after the fight and what we shared in the in that octagon, yeah, I think uh, I think we maybe we can be some acquaintances. So so we'll see. Last one for me, you said that you're nearly pissed. How many beers does it take to get you to the level you want to be? Fucking after punching on for 25 minutes, only a few by the looks of it. So, uh, yeah, I've had it, like, this is my fourth. It's probably a third, but I'll say four just to sound... A... I don't know. Yeah, mate, I think four. Three or four. We're down them pretty quick, I guess. Congrats. Thank you. Alex, to your right, Alex, over right here. here. Alex, oh, who? Alex, right here. Uh, yep. yep. Does it bother you the fact that you didn't beat these big guys, Max... Jose, these supposed to be the greatest of their of the division, but they'll talk about you being the greatest division, and you didn't beat these guys. Does that bother you? Wait, wait, say that again, sorry? The fact that you beat these guys that are considered the best of all yeah. in the division, but nobody's considered you the best of the oh, all. Oh, mate, time. there's so, people, I, I guarantee you there's people out there that are there to throw my name out there, you know what I mean? But again, you're going to, you know, especially with Max and, and some of these guys, these are, you know, they've, they've had a lot of time to really build themselves up, get a big uh, fan base and, and, and all that. So, mate... It wasn't that long ago when you seen Max in this same exact same position. No one giving him the respect he deserved when he was uh, kicking everyone's ass. Tim, well, how long was his winning streak before he even got a title shot? All that bullshit, you know what I mean? So it, it does happen. Um, and, you know, I, I was just going through that process. 
that's going to change. And I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. But again, man, you take out guys like Max Holloway twice, Aldo, Chad Mendes, Ortega. You know, you know, you can't not throw my name around there. So I guarantee you my name's, uh, my name's out there. But again, you've got to give the guys like Aldo, champion for so long. There's going to be days when you're not on. You know, I mean, this is a fucking crazy sport. Man, I'm swearing a lot. Um, so you're going to be, you know, you're going to be injured. Some days you're just not going to turn up. And to stay champion for that long, you got, that's why I still say he's the GOAT. But I'm not far off. <laughs> After you got out the choke, it, it seemed like you got an extra fuel to your fire because you, you put basically put him in deep waters and you drowned him. Would that be safe to say that? Well, yeah, like I knew he would have burnt some energy there. And for me to get out of that, and I was like, oh, there's no way it can get any fucking deeper than that. So I'm like, let's just pour it on, you know what I mean? So I just went just went AWA and I heard the ref like he was ready to stop it. Uh, and we got close. The buzzer went. He didn't get up. Like, you know, the ref could have stopped that fight, and the, especially the doctors. I know you, you, your job is to fight with people's ass, but when you see something like that, do you think he needs to get up and get on the stool himself? Or not? he got helped up by his whole damn team. Like, it, it, oh, that it, happened? Well, well you're yeah, not allowed. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know about that. Well, yeah, it's, it's that's it, I'm about to fucking get... No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, that, I didn't know about that. But yeah, well, that's, that's not allowed. You, know? they, they, you literally can't touch them. Yeah. You, they, that's considered a TKO. I'm going to claim it. <laughs> And, Dana, uh, for somebody, we don't claim it. For somebody to come to a sport, I saw you fight. I can tell you're a hell of a fighter. Hats to you. I see, you see you in person. I see why you're the real deal. But going on the show, do you think that helped build up your brand? We got to see your personality and see all that. The whole world got to see that. Do you think you, and looking back on it, that was a great decision for you? Or it just, that's just entertainment. It's, it's separate from fighting. Hey, man, the whole thing, you just didn't get to see uh, nowhere near enough. You know what I mean? Like, it just, man. Put a camera in front of me and people are going to like me. You know what I mean? It's just, again, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that's going to, you know, I'm not going to do smash dollies through fucking windows and carry on and all that. So, you know, I'm not going to do all that type of bull, bullshit. You know what I mean? But again, you put a camera in front of my face, people are going to like me because I'm a pretty chill dude. I'm a fun dude. But again, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way. But I tell you, I really enjoyed this whole process, fight week, the whole thing about it. Even, you know, building the fight up and all that type of stuff, you know, I'm not usually the type to do that. Now, I'm the type of guy, someone asked me a question, I'm just going to answer the fucking thing. A lot of people, you know, they got these narratives they want to push and all that, and I'm just, you know, I'm not like that. I'm chill. You ask me how I'm going, I'm going to say I'm fucking good. You know, a lot of people are going, ah, oh, yeah, and they, you know, they, they've got a question ready, and I'm not like that. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just real. I'm going to say, what, say what's on my mind, you know, but again, put a camera in front of me, people get to know me, they're going to love me. With all the craziness going on at 155, you said you would go up. Would you go up for a title shot? Do you think you could get up in the title shot? How do you think you would compete with them? Would the size be a big difference, or you just going to roll the dice and see what's up? Man, I, everyone knows about... I used to, man, I'm, I'm used to the big boys. I train with uh, bigger guys all the time. You know, I used to be 214 pounds. You know, I played a prop, uh, you know, front row for rugby league. Uh, it's the biggest position, you know what I mean? That's the big boppers, you know what I mean? That's the position that I played, you know, and... I fought in middleweight, welterweight, you know, my only loss was at, was at welterweight, you know what I mean? So I'm used to the big guys, but I mean, hey, like I said, you know, I just don't want to wait six months or something like that. So if we could run something back, let's do it. Final question for me, what, what higher level can you get to that you haven't got to? What, what's the best Volkanovski that, that there is? Mate. Since we, have we seen it? Nah, man, sky's the limit, mate. Keep, keep, you know what I mean? Like, again, that, that underdog mentality. What I know now is not going to be enough in a month's time. You know what I mean? What I know now, yeah, I feel like I'm ahead of the game. But these guys, they might be where I am now. I need to, we need to evolve. We're always looking. You know, we've got a great team behind us. They're doing a great job to always be on the top of the game, not only studying fighters, studying the best fighters out there, things, you know, there's the, why is this guy so good at this, you know what I mean? You can always evolve. You can always uh, broaden everything. You guys like in a jiu-jitsu, you got like guys like Craig Jones and all that showing you shit that you're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? How good is this? You know what I mean? So you can evolve. This, mate, trust me. There's, there's, there, I'm, there's levels to this, and I'm right up there. But we gonna keep going. I guarantee you. Thank you. Alex, sorry, over, over here. Um, how many, how many beers until you would go put a dolly through a bus? Uh, <laughs> I'm usually a pretty happy drunk, to be honest. So I don't know. I don't know. Not a uh, year. Who knows? <laughs> no, nah, um, not me. That's not my style. You, you've talked a lot about the underdog mentality and, and maintaining that and driving you. But I mean, at some point, you're a big favorite tonight. I mean, at some point, you're not going to be an underdog to anybody. How difficult is it to kind of keep that going? Yeah, man. Like, uh, again, when I say that, it doesn't mean that I am the underdog. It's just that's, that's the mentality in my head. Just purely telling myself that, you know, you, you're not doing enough. You know what I mean? They're doing more. 
You know what I mean? And I know, like, again, I know they're not doing more. No one fucking does more than me, I'm telling you. You know, but again, you know, that's what, make, that's what gets me up in the morning. You know, that's what, you know, makes me do what I'm doing. You know, that makes me, when you see me doing these workouts, like, how does he fucking do this? It's because I'm telling myself I need to. You know what I mean? That's just, just that mentality. Again, I know I'm not the underdog going into to a lot of these fights, but that's, that's, that's what I tell myself. I tell myself that, you know, what you know now is not enough. Is there something you have to do to maintain that when everybody keeps saying how great you are? No, just me. I'm, again, I'm a, I'm a very level-headed guy, and I'm a, that's just the, the type of guy I am. You know, I don't let all the shit get to my head. You know, I'm going to go home, and I'm daddy. And as I say, my kids don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> you know, they're going to be like, Dad, cook me some fucking eggs. I'm like, oh, I'll cook you some eggs. No worries, you know what I mean? And that's it, I'm dad. You know what I mean? I walk the streets, I completely forget that I'm a UFC champion, so I'm just me. I'm a normal human being. That's just how I am, and I think that's, that, that's what, what makes me be who I am. Makes me always keep working harder, you know what I mean? Just purely because that's the type of guy I am. I know you, talk, you talked a couple times about what was going on in the corner between rounds. At the second time, so it was after the fourth round, okay. it seemed, sounded like you were protesting pretty loudly of like, hey, what's going on over there? Like, were you getting bothered by that? Of course, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm known for my gas tank. I'm you know, wanting to break him and we're giving him a whole extra minute. You know, he's already got a minute. Then we just give him another minute. So obviously I'm gonna be a little dirty about that, but hey, at least, at least uh, the fight kept going and then we got to put on more of a show for, for the fans. So I'm all right now, because I still got the belt, but <laughs> I, obviously at the time I was like, what are you doing? Like, you know, are we all against me or what? Fuck. And uh, last thing, as long as we're bringing up tweets, uh, Henry Cejudo said he's coming back Fuck to, Henry to take out Alexander the Average in, in response to him. What do you say? He's coming back to take out Alexander the Average. No, mate, he's fucking, he's called out everyone. Like, I mean, he's called out females, he's called out, you know what I mean? Like, what he's actually believed the shit that comes out of his mouth. Nah, don't worry about him. Thanks, man. I'll squash the little germ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're going to go another one? Yeah, just, just. I'm gonna put you this now. Give me a shoe. Give me a shoe. Give me a shoe. Give me a shoe. Give me Give me a shoe. Give me a shoe. Yeah, oh. That's a holy grail.